This video is not about hacking Veo3, vale it's about maxing out everything you're already allowed to use for free. If you've tried Veo, vale, you know the pain. A few great clips and then the credits vanish. Last month, I ran a one-time experiment. I stacked all the official legal-free Veo3 vale options and trials and treated them like one system. That gave me around 800 short Veo vale style videos in 30 days without a Veo vale subscription. In this video, I'll walk you through that setup step by step, show you how to squeeze the most out of every free Veo3 vale option you have, and be honest about what you can't repeat every month. If you appreciate this kind of deep dive, do me a quick favor hit like and drop a comment with the word free so I know you want me to dig up more hidden options like this. Let me show you how I got all these AI videos for free. All right, let's start with the first method, the official Veo door inside Gemini. Right now, Veo video does not exist on the completely free Gemini tier. To see the Veo video button, you need Google AI Pro or Ultra. So first, let's turn that on. Open your browser and go to gemini.google.com. Sign in with the Google account you want to use for your video work. In the top right corner, if you see an option like Upgrade, click that. On the Google AI Pro page, start the one-month free trial. You may need to add a payment method, but you won't be charged during the trial if you cancel before it renews. Once AI Pro is active on your account, you're ready to generate VO videos inside Gemini. Now let's create your first one. Look at the bottom of the chat window just under the text box. You'll see a row of icons. If you already have access, one of them will be labeled Video. This opens the Veo video panel. Here you can choose between a text-only video or a photo-to-video version. Type a clear description of the video you want into the text field. If you want to turn a photo into a video, click Add Image and upload one or more reference images from your computer. When you're ready, click Submit. Gemini now sends your request to Veo. The system will generate a short video clip, usually around 8 seconds long. Rendering typically takes from a few seconds up to a couple of minutes depending on load. When it's done, the finished video appears right inside your Gemini chat. You can click to preview it and, if you like it, hover over the video and use the download option to save it as an mp4 file to your computer. There are daily limits here, because this is running VO. On the Pro plan, you currently get a small number of VO3 video generations per day inside Gemini. In practice, that works out to roughly a few VO videos per day, which means you can collect around 90 VO style clips over a full month of using your free AI Pro trial. Method 2 is all about flow, and this is where most of your VO volume will come from. Flow lives under the same Google AI Pro subscription as Gemini. So, while your Pro month is active, you want to squeeze everything you can out of Flow as well. But first, there's a small hack to get a bit more for free. Before you start the Pro trial, go to labs.google.com flow in your browser and sign in with your Google account. On a brand new account, Flow usually gives you around 100 free AI credits to test the tool. That's enough for roughly 5 VO3 fast videos if you spend them carefully. So the ideal order is, use those 100 free credits in Flow first, then upgrade to Google AI Pro, which adds another 1000 credits on top for the month. Now, let's go step by step inside Flow. Sign in with the same Google account you used for Gemini. If you're opening it for the first time, you'll see a welcome screen and a button like Create with Flow. And next, new project. Click that to create your first project. To start a Veo clip, choose your mode. For basic Veo work, the most useful ones are text to video, if you want to generate a clip purely from a description, frames to video, if you want to upload first and last frame images and have Veo animate them. After choosing the mode, you'll see settings panel on the right. Here's what to set up, model. Make sure the model is set to a Veo3 fast option if you want to maximize the number of clips. Fast models cost fewer credits. Number of outputs. Set to 1. More clips sound great, but they also cost more credits. Aspect ratio. Choose the aspect ratio that matches your content. Once your settings are ready, type your description of the scene into the text field. If you're using frames to video, upload your reference images into the frame panel. Flow will treat those as the keyframes and animate between them. When everything looks good, click the Generate button for that shot. When it finishes, you can click the video to preview the clip. If you like the result, you can. Save the shot inside the project. And with Scene Builder, get extended option. Or just use the last frame to make video continuation. Or export the clip to your computer for editing. 
Now let's talk about credits, because this is where Flow becomes your main deal factory. On Google AI Pro, you get 1,000 AI credits for the month shared between Flow and Whisk. A typical VO3 fast clip in Flow costs around 20 credits. That means those 1,000 credits translate into roughly 50 fast VO clips if you use Flow only. If you also include the initial 100 free credits you used before upgrading, you can squeeze out about 5 extra VO clips on top of that, so maximum 55 videos. Method 3 is WISC, Google's image-to-video tool that uses VO under the hood. Before we even talk about Google AI Pro, there's one important detail. With a free Google account, WISC gives you 180 AI credits you can use directly inside WISC. So you want to use those free credits first and only then think about upgrading to Pro. Let's go through it step by step. Sign in with the same Google account you used for Flow and Gemini. On the main WISC screen, you'll see a layout with an area to add images and a prompt box. To create your first animation, you first need to create a starting image. Begin by adding your reference images. On the left side, click the image upload area. WISC usually lets you add several images. For example, you can upload a subject image, like your character or an object, a background image such as the environment you want, like a street, a room, or a landscape, and a style or mood image, something that shows the look and color palette you like. Once you've built your starting image and you're happy with it, click Animate on that image. WISC will open a new window or panel for animation. At the bottom, in the prompt box, write a short description of what should happen in the video. When everything is ready, click the Generate button. When it finishes, the video appears in the preview area. Click the preview to watch it. If you like the result, look for the Download or Export button and save the video as an MP4 file to your computer. Now let's talk about the credits. On a free account, WISC gives you 180 credits. Each animation consumes a chunk of those credits. In practice, you can usually turn those 180 credits into around 9 short videos. After that, when you upgrade to Google AI Pro, Whisk and Flow start sharing a bigger pool of 1,000 credits for the month. Together, that entire system, Flow plus Whisk, can give you a total of about 64 VO style videos. Method 4 is Google Vids. And this is where things get really fun because it doesn't use your Flow or Whisk credits at all. Google Vids is Google's own video editor. Here's how to use it. Open your browser and go to vids.google.com or open Google Vids from your Google Docs or Google Drive menu. Sign in with the same Google account you've been using so far. On the main screen, click New Video or Create to start a new project. You'll see a timeline or a card-based storyboard in the center and a sidebar on the right. On the right-hand side, look for the tab labeled Vio if you don't see it. Make sure that you're signed in with the same Google account as your Google Pro subscription. This video panel is where you can create new clips. To generate a video, click into the text field in the video panel and type a clear description of the shot you want. You have two options for images. You can add up to three reference images as ingredients that will be part of your video, or you can choose to animate a starting image. When you're ready, click the Generate button in the video panel. When the video is ready, it appears as a new clip in your Google Vids project. You can click on it in the timeline to preview, trim it, add text and transitions, or move it around like any other video segment. The really important part is this. These video clips inside Google Vids do not consume your Flow or Whisk credits. They have their own separate daily limit, and that's what makes this method so powerful. Right now, you can generate up to 10 video clips per day inside Google Vids. That means if you open Vids every day, you can end up with around 300 video style clips in one month from Vids alone. Method 5 is Google AI Studio, and here we're going to step slightly down in model version, but not in quality. AI Studio gives you access to VO2, which is technically the previous generation compared to VO3, but still produces seriously good cinematic video. For our system, it's a bonus tab you can open for extra free shots. Here's how to use it. Open your browser and go to aistudio.google.com. On the left-hand side, look for a section called Playground. Click Video option in the middle, then select VO2 as the model. To create a VO2 video, write a clear description of the clip you want in the text box, then click Upload Image to provide a reference frame. Check the available settings such as duration or aspect ratio and adjust them if needed. When everything looks good, click the Generate button. AI Studio renders the clip. Click the video to preview it. And if you like the result, use the Download option to save it to your computer. Now, a quick note about limits. 
AI Studio isn't an unlimited VO farm. Google gives you a limited amount of free usage for VO2, and that can change over time. In practice, you can think of AI Studio as a way to add maybe 10 to 20 extra VO2 shots to your library. These VO2 shots won't be your main factory, but they're perfect for filling in gaps and adding more variety to your visuals without touching your other credit pools. Method 6 is LM Video Arena. And even though this is not a Google tool, it still gives you VO level videos for free. LM Arena is a research project. They compare different AI video models against each other and your job is simply to prompt and vote. In return, you get to keep the videos. Here's how to use it. First, you need a Discord account. Once you're inside Discord, you're ready to join the LM Arena server. Inside the server, you'll see a list of channels on the left. Look for the channels with names like Video Arena 1 or Video Arena 2. These are the channels where you can generate videos. You can create both text-to-video and image-to-video clips there. Let's start with text-to-video. Open one of the Video Arena channels. At the bottom, in the message box, type the slash command and select video generation option you prefer. In that form, you'll see a field for your prompt. Click into the prompt field and describe the video you want, just like you would for any other text-to-video generator. When you're happy with your prompt and settings, click the Submit button for the command. LM Arena now sends your prompt to two different video models at the same time. Very often, one of those models is a VO family model and the other is a competing high-end model. The system then generates two videos and posts them as a pair in the channel. You'll see your result come back as video A and video B with small controls under each. Click each video to watch it in full resolution inside Discord. Once you've watched both, scroll down to the buttons under the pair. Here, you can vote for the one you think is better. That's the research part. Your vote helps LM Arena rank these models. Now, the important part for us, you're allowed to download these videos. There is a daily limit per Discord count. The exact number can change as they adjust capacity, but to keep things realistic, you can assume you'll get around five good clips per day that you keep and actually use. So if you run a few prompts each day, you can expect roughly 150 VO level clips in a month just from LM Arena. Remember, you don't control which exact model you get every time, but a lot of the outputs are visually on the same level as VO3. This last method is the part almost nobody talks about in VO tutorials. It's not inside the Gemini app and you won't see it in Google Vids or Flow, but if you're willing to go one level deeper, it can easily add hundreds of extra VO3 clips on top of everything we've already done. I'm talking about the $300 Google Cloud free trial. Here's how it works in simple terms. When you create a new Google Cloud account, Google often gives you up to $300 in cloud credits, usually valid for around 90 days. You can spend those credits on many cloud services, and one of them is Vertex AI, which includes VO3 through the Gemini and Video Generation APIs. In other words, Instead of paying out of pocket for VO, you're burning through that $300 credit balance. This method is optional and a bit more advanced because you'll see billing dashboards and APIs and you do need to add a payment method to start the trial. If that already makes you uncomfortable, you can skip this section. You still have plenty of free options from the other methods, but if you're okay with cloud dashboards, here's the high-level setup. First, go to console.cloud.google.com in your browser and sign in with a Google account that has not used the cloud free trial before. In the top bar, if you see a message about a free trial or activate $300 in credits, that means you're eligible. Follow the on-screen steps, accept the terms, create your first cloud project, and add a payment method for verification. You won't be charged during the free trial as long as you stay inside the credit amount and, and you don't manually upgrade to a paid plan after the trial ends. Once your project is created and the trial is active, you need to turn on Vertex AI. In the left-hand navigation, look for Vertex AI or AI and Machine Learning and open Vertex AI Studio or Model Garden. The exact menu names can move around, but your goal is to reach the place where you can pick a model and generate video. Inside Vertex AI Studio, look for the Video Generation section and choose a VO3 model. Different regions might show slightly different names, but you're looking for a VO3 fast or VO3 video model. From here, the workflow is similar to what you already know. You choose the model, for example, a VO3 fast option to keep costs lower. You set the duration, usually around 6 to 8 seconds, for these short clips. 
You pick the aspect ratio you want, you write your text description, and you click Generate. Every time you do this, the cost of that generation is subtracted from your $300 cloud credit balance instead of your own money. Now, how many videos can you actually get out of this? The exact pricing depends on region and specific settings, but to keep it simple, let's assume a typical Veo3 fast clip costs somewhere in the range of 10 to 15 cents per second. If you generate short clips around 8 seconds long, that puts each clip roughly around 80 cents to $1.20 in cloud credit. That means your $300 trial can realistically turn into around 250 to 300 VO3 videos, if you use it mainly for short fast clips. Let's do a quick recap of the numbers so the title isn't just clickbait. Gemini gives us roughly 3 veil clips per day on the pro trial. Over 30 days, that's about 90 videos. Flow and Whisk together give us about 50 videos from the 1000 pro credits, plus 5 free flow videos, plus 9 free Whisk videos. Google Vids can generate up to 10 veil clips per day without using those credits, which means around 300 clips per month if you show up every day. In Google AI Studio with VO2, we're realistic and count only about 20 extra shots. And from LM Video Arena, if you keep just 5 good clips per day, that's another 150 VO level clips in a month. Then we add the hidden one, the $300 Google Cloud trial. It can easily give you around 250 extra clips, puts us around 874 videos. So, putting it all together with one month of Google AI Pro, it's completely realistic to build a library of several hundred short VO style clips without ever paying for a dedicated VO subscription. My recommendation is simple, use one month as a focused farm phase. After that, switch to maintenance mode. Reuse and re-edit your best shots, keep topping up with LM Arena and the monthly free whisk and flow credits, and maybe keep the cloud option running for the next 90 days to stretch things even longer. If you want me to keep hunting for more free or low-cost workflows, hit like and drop a comment with the word free, so I know this kind of deep dive is helpful. If you want more free AI video tricks, stay tuned for my next report.